Ford has decided it's time to revisit the F-150 for 2018. Is it a recycled aluminum truck or a legitimate refresh worthy of your attention? Truck and SUV sales have set a blistering pace over the last few years, spurning a highly competitive market as manufacturers attempt to gain and hold market share. Their strongest tool in this game is technological innovation and fresh styling in order to make every year a new year, because new is news. Ford plays this game better than anyone else, and that's not a bad thing. Not only do they give people what they want, they're willing to take some risks in delivering what we don't know we want yet. For instance, the introduction of aluminum into the F-150 back in 2015. Now, spoiler alert, the 2018 doesn't introduce any game changers into the F-150. Not the kind that makes you want to trade in your one or two year old truck, but there are enough improvements to make you want to lease a new truck rather than buy out your old lease. Now many changes are just cosmetic, but there are also new powertrain options as well as new driver assist technology to allow F-150 owners to do more on and off the road. So let's start with the stake, not the sizzle, the substance rather than style. I'm talking about engines and powertrains. The 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 and the 5 liter naturally aspirated V8 get some tweaks to improve torque and horsepower. And along with the 3.5 liter EcoBoost, they'll be mated to the new 10 speed automatic transmission. Now last year's normally aspirated 3.5 liter V6 has been dumped and ditched, and it's been replaced with a more efficient 3.3 liter V6. Now this is going to be bolted to a 6 speed transmission for a lower price point engine powertrain option. All the engines will get the auto stop start technology, which is reduces idling time by stopping the engine at a traffic light and firing it up when you step on the gas. Fortunately, it is also automatically disabled in tow haul and off-road mode. Now, here's the reality check. Although there are six engines to choose from, uh, including the diesel to be released next year, there are only two engines you probably should or will want to buy. Now the bottom end is the 3.3 liter, uh, which doesn't have the jam to do anything a pickup truck really needs to do, unless cruising Main Street is all it needs to do. Max torque and horsepower figures are too low to be of consequence, and the RPM required to hit the max numbers is too high to be used efficiently. Now Ford has also hamstrung this engine, as it's only available with the six-speed transmission. This does create a price point truck, so you can get in the door of a shiny new Ford 2018 F-150 at 30,500 Canadian. Now that's only going to be for the regular cab 4x2 and the XL trim. If, like 99% of Canadians, you only buy 4x4 pickups, your entry fee to the 2018 F-150 will be 35,000 Canadian. A lot of guys will naturally gravitate to the 5 liter V8. This engine is sluggish under load. Yeah, it's got that wonderful V8 sound, and, and yeah, you can option it out to hit the best-in-class payload of 3,270 pounds. But when it comes to towing, the truck when I drove felt sluggish on just an 8,000-pound trailer. So that much weight or more would be an exercise in frustration on any uphill grade. Our review shows that unless you plan to add aftermarket engine enhancements, or you're a die-hard V8 fan, just skip this engine. The 3.5 liter high output EcoBoost is an awesome engine, but it's only available in the Raptor. The diesel engine hasn't been released yet, although it will be your most expensive upgrade when it does arrive. Now, Ford's new entry is a 3 liter turbocharged Power Stroke V6 diesel, which also gets the 10 speed transmission. Now, this is welcome news for Ford enthusiasts, as Ford is the last of the big three to bring a diesel to the half ton marketplace. Ford says it won't be available until the spring of 2018, it will be expensive, and it will only be available on the higher end trims. So far, no fuel efficiency, horsepower, or torque values have been released as Ford continues to calibrate the engine in advance of EPA scrutiny, courtesy of the debacle over VW's intentional fudging of emission results. But in the never-ending competition for best in class, the engine will have to beat Ram's 3-liter Eco Diesel. So we expect max numbers from Ford's diesel to be roughly 250 horsepower at 3600 RPM, uh, 450 feet pound of torque at 2000 RPM, and it should hit 29 miles per gallon on the highway in a 4x4. But as I said, you can't buy it yet, we don't know the performance, 
and we don't know what it will cost. So essentially, you've got two smart choices for your 2018 F-150 this fall. The 2.7 liter and the 3.5 liter EcoBoost. Now, base your choice on your needs or the thickness of your wallet. The 2.7 liter is spry and exciting to drive, even great with a 7,500 pound trailer hanging off the back. The 3.5 liter EcoBoost is the workhorse engine, which you can option out to tow 13,200 pounds if you need to haul those heavy loads or consistently climb significant grades. Now, it didn't feel bogged down even with a 9,000 pound trailer hanging off the hitch. My recommendation is go with the 2.7 liter EcoBoost so you can enjoy acceleration and good fuel economy in a 4x4 at 18 miles per gallon in the city, 20 highway, and 22 combined. And have a truck that doesn't labor under most common loads. So the 2.7 liter gets top marks. And this is unless, and it's a big unless, you really need or can afford the extra torque and horsepower of a 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. How did Ford get more torque, horsepower, and an extra mile per gallon from any of their engines? It's in large part due to the use of port injection. In combination with direct injection, direct injection atomizes fuel by delivering under high pressure directly into the cylinder during the compression cycle. The phase change has a cooling effect in the cylinder, allowing a higher compression ratio and creating a more efficient engine. Port injection, on the other hand, provides quiet, smooth performance at idle and low RPM, and it flushes out the excess soot and particulate from the direct injection. And then the direct injection kicks in as the RPMs rise. The new technology, cosmetics, and powertrain will keep the F-150 in the half-ton game. Brand loyalists will find it easy to love, and if you're not a Ford fan, you should take time to drive it before you dismiss it. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more from 4-Wheel Drive, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button as well. That's it for now. See you on the trails.